let me cover the most popular strategy, at least which I have used a lot. In most of the project, uh, wherever we have make to stock, we prefer to use 40. Okay, let's discuss what is 40. 40 is called planning with final assembly. Okay, 40 is called planning with final assembly. So where we will be using 40, let's discuss that. We have discussed make to stock. We have also discussed make to order. Problem with the make to stock is there completely depend on the forecast. Okay, your forecast is 100, you produce 100. But what will happen if you got a sales order of 150? Okay, your forecast was 100, you got a sales order of 150. So you should not be producing 100, you should be producing 100 plus 50. 150, right? 100 plus 50, 150. If you go to the make to order, classic make to order 20, it completely depends on your sales order. If the sales order is there 50, it will say produce 50. But if the sales order is not there, based on the forecast, it does not produce, right? So you need some strategy, your business needs some strategy. They said we are make to stock. We want to produce based on the forecast, but we need to also respect to the actual sales which is coming it up. If, if, I have, if I have forecasted 100 for the month of March, but in the month of March, the requirement got 120, system should propose me that I should produce extra 20 so that I can cover that additional demand, which is the actual demand coming from the customer. So we should respect actual demand coming from the customer, right? That was a requirement that why strategy 40 was required which would be the mix of MTS and MTO. It will be respecting the forecast also, plant independent requirements, and it would be also be respecting your uh, sales orders also. So that is strategy 40.